Hello, Pocono Mountains and Lake Wampalpec region. I'm Bridget Gelderman with Davis R. Chant. I wanna bring you the market recap for last month, which is August, 2021, uh, just so we can see where the market is headed and what happened in the past. Um, we probably have just about the most inventory that we're going to have from now, probably until the springtime. So we have 627 homes currently on the market, which has remained relatively steady. Last month we had 638, so just a few more houses active on the market. Um, and keep in mind when we reopened um, last May, we had 1,200 listings and our lowest point was in March, this past March with 394 listings. So we've stayed around 600 for a few months now. It looks like that may very well be um, our average you know, heading into winter. So interesting information, our average sales price for August was 297,000, which we're almost at 300,000, and it's a 25% increase from 2020. Um, the average year-to-date sales price is up 35%, um, and we're at uh, year-to-date, we're at 279,000. Last year at this time, we were at 207. So that 300,000 price point was really just for August. Um, I do think though we're starting to level out on our average sales price increasing. We were seeing 40% increases for the last you know, five months and now we've only had a 25% increase. So it looks like we're starting to stabilize in our average sales price. So I just wanted to point that out. Our absorption rate, rate is also going up very, very slowly. So we're at 2.35 months to sell off all of the inventory, those 600 homes, it would take us a, roughly two and a half months at our current pace. Um, our lowest was 1.31 months. And we're, like I said, we've been slowly increasing. So nothing crazy, it looks like it's relatively stable. Our sold listings were down a little bit this August compared to last August, but keep in mind, we are still trying to make up for so much time when we were closed. Every point, price point is over $200,000 is up and the top end is still performing quite well, which is over 400,000. Our pending compared to last August is down a little bit, but again, that is, that's going to happen just because of what happened last summer. And our year to date though is down about 8.5%. And I attribute a lot of that to an inventory problem. Um, last year we had so many more houses on the market and we sold them faster because when we came out of COVID, we had a lot of inventory. Um, now we've seen that decrease. So we're probably gonna continue to see that number down. Our active listings are about 17% down year to date and our new listings are up about 2%. Um, we're com down compared to last August, but again, that was, um, you know, conditions of the market reopening during COVID. Uh, okay, so now let's just talk about current active homes on the market. Like I said, we've been in that 600 range now for three months. It looks like we're pretty stable. Um, for right now, we're going to see things decrease as um, we head into winter, and then we'll see it pick back up again in the spring. Let's talk about some of the communities. We seem to be holding steady in most of the communities. Um, the hideout, we have 38 active homes. Last month we had 43, the month before that 42. So that one's remaining relatively stable. Fawn Lake, again, July we had 11 active homes, August 13 and September 12. So that market's remaining stable. Same with Mast Hope, we have 15 active homes on the market. Last month we had 14. Tanglewood seems to be struggling to keep homes on the market. I know that's a pretty sought after community. We have seven homes on the market. Last month we had 11 um, and the month before we had 11. So again, Tanglewood seems to be relatively sought after. WLE 12, we have currently right now on the market. Last month we had 17 and in July we had 12. So we had a little bump up in August, um, but we're kind of back down to that June, July number, which was 12. Lake Wall and Paul Pack Lakefronts. We have nine active lakefronts on the market. Last year at this time, we had 12. Um, so that number probably going into winter is going to remain pretty much around that, that amount. And I know previous to that, we had numbers like 20, 25 on the market, but we're looking to, lakefronts look to be pretty light on inventory heading into winter. Our non-Lake Wall and Paul Peck lakefronts have been hovering right around the mid 40s. We have 44 um, right now on the market and last month we had 45, in July we had 43. So we're stick sticking right around those 40s. 
And then homes with a boat slip on Lake Wampalpac that are not lakefront, we have 14 currently, and I know back in March we only had three, so um, we've increased that inventory. And I'm sure as the winter progresses, we'll see that go down and, and really be tight during the springtime, and then probably it'll pick back up again. So that is a market report for the Pike Wayne MLS. If you have any questions or you want to review this data, please feel free to reach out. Thank you so much for liking my page on Facebook and for subscribing to my channel on YouTube. Have a great day and a wonderful fall. Bye.